I was born in Taihepi because dad was a train driver, um, stoker first. So we had a railway house in Taihepi. We came here when I was um, primary school age, early primary school, because um, Paikok, another railway town. Um, strangely enough, I didn't actually make all the connections with my father that he'd been in Paikok a lot earlier than that, like before I was born. And um, um, one of the kids found this medal and they had H. Wehi Pehana on it. And it was actually his swimming medal from here. So he was in the surf club and the bowling club and the tennis club and then suddenly there's all these pictures of him all over the place. Oh. So yeah, he was here first. And I, and I had a photo album of his and uh, I never knew where it was, but of course Pycock Hill's pretty obvious in all of them, so yeah. That was a funny connection, eh? And then Jean Andrews stopped me on the road one day and she said, what's your father's name? I said, Hector, and she said, oh my God, Hector, she said, I used to play golf with him, he was a really good golf player, And because they had the golf course at the end of Tilly Road. Told me all these stories about Dad playing pool here, and you know, all the rest of it. And he was known in the area, yeah, by, by some of the older railway folks. I'd been at Cavity College. I knew a lot of people here that were in my class, and I always loved Pycock, because it was always that kind of village. And the Pycock kids, were different and they were all mixed ages and they all talked to each other like they were all mates you know I, I was quite impressed by that I think that's the village thing isn't it mm. <music> Granny um, and Pop they were uh, to Korahi and um, we only came back for Christmases, really, and special occasions, um, funerals. I actually had a half-sister, and she based at the Marae. You know, in some ways, I don't know a lot about it, but you kind of know a little bit about what you are, and obviously your parents were your parents and your grandparents were your grandparents, and I think a lot of stuff arrives in here from them. When I started carving, I started doing things like kuru shapes and and then I got fascinated by them because there's so many ways to do them, you know, like heaps of them. And I ended up virtually dreaming about them and daydreaming about them. I'd sort of sit there and cross my legs and do a bit of meditation and I'd be standing on the side of one of my carvings walking around the file marks or something. <laughs> and everything kind of um, helps everything else, everything you do. I mean. Yeah, if you carve, if you paint, if you work with wood, they all give you ideas for the other mediums, you know, other ways to use them. So I've done, like, um, I did some wood pieces and um, I threw paint all over them first, threw coffee over them, threw tea over them. Didn't like, I went a bit dark, so I went and got a bottle of Janola and started tipping that all over it. And then I carved them and, um, and joined them together and... You know what I mean? So you kind of get kind of loose, yeah. um, which is that's what I like. Yeah. I like looking at things. I used to like being on my own a lot. So, you know, when I was a kid, I remember lying on a plank over the creek. We, we had this creek down the back and I threw this big painter's plank across it and I used to lie on it for hours, looking at the water and just watching, you know, watching the eels and I suppose being in nature a bit and I loved it. You know, it really kind of entertained me. You asked me if art is learned, I think, a lot of it is. I suppose you have an inclination to go in particular ways, you look at things in particular ways. I actually do think it's something that, that it's that creativity thing and I just think everybody has it. It's not, you know, 
well, somebody's got it and somebody hasn't. We all have it. We just apply it to different things. You know, you apply it to your cameras or your business or, I don't know, the way you run your budgets. I don't you know. I taught myself a lot of stuff and I've been really lucky to have really clever mates who have been happy to give me the time and show me. And I think a lot of it is, um, it's kind of problem solving and um, learning. Learning's pretty exciting, you know, I think we all enjoy that, you, you know, whatever you're doing, if you, you do something you didn't think you could do, um, you feel quite pleased with yourself really, and then you move on to the next thing. Yeah. <laughs>